funny thing about mothers and fathers, even when their own child is the most disgusting little blister you could ever imagine, they still think that he or she is wonderful. Some parents go further. They become so blinded by adoration, they manage to convince themselves their child has qualities of genius. Well, there is nothing very wrong with all this. It's the way of the world. It is only when the parents begin telling us about the brilliance of their own revolting offspring that we start shouting, bring us a basin, we're going to be sick. School teachers suffer a good deal from having to listen to this sort of twaddle from proud parents, but they usually get their own back when the time comes to write the end of term reports. If I were a teacher, I would cook up some real scorches for the children of doting parents. Your son Maximilian, I would write, is a total washout. I hope you have a family business you can push him into when he leaves school because he sure as heck won't get a job anywhere else. Or if I were feeling lyrical that day, I might write, It's a curious truth that grasshoppers have their hearing organs in the size of their abdomen. Your daughter, Vanessa, judging by what she's learnt this term, has no hearing organs at all. I might even delve deeper into natural history and say, the periodical cicada spends six years as a grub underground and no more than six days as a free creature of sunlight and air. Your son Wilfred has spent six years as a grub in this school and we are still waiting for him to emerge from the chrysalis. A particularly poisonous little girl might sting me into saying Fiona has the same glacial beauty as an iceberg, but unlike the iceberg she has an absolutely nothing below the surface. I think I might enjoy writing the end of term report for the stinkers in my class. But enough of that. We have to get on. Occasionally, one comes across parents who take the opposite line, who show no interest at all in their children. And these, of course, are far worse than the doting ones. Mr and Mrs Wormwood were two such parents. They had a son called Michael and a daughter called Matilda and the parents looked upon Matilda in particular as nothing more than a scab. A scab is something you have to put up with until the time comes when you can pick it off and flick it away. Mr and Mrs Wormwood looked forward enormously to the time when they could pick their little daughter off and flick her away, preferably into the next county or even further than that. It is bad enough when parents treat ordinary children as though they were scabs and bunions, but it becomes somehow a lot worse when the child in question is extraordinary, and by that I mean sensitive and brilliant. Matilda was both of these things, but above all she was brilliant. Her mind was so nimble and she was so quick to learn that her ability should have been obvious even to the most half-witted of parents. <laughs>